Rob and I thank you guys again for stopping by to one of my tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to do what I call the screwdriver and this is what it looks like. Okay, so the reason why I call it the screwdriver is just because, say this, this is the screwdriver and this is the nail, or whatever you're going to screw in basically. You're going to bring it in, and then you're going to bring it out. You're loosening, I mean you're tightening the screw, you're loosening the screw. So there's my little reference of why I called it the screwdriver, and let me break it down what this move is. This move consists of a barrel roll and a back flail going in both directions. So if you guys know, um, it's, if you're going right, you're tight, if you're going left, you're loose. <coughs> so you can just practice this going back and forth. What I like to do is I actually like to put my body into it just so it gives it that much little more rotation and that little more of uh, like a little depth to it. And if you want to transition out of here, say if you're stuck or if you don't know how to transition, you can just bring it in and bring it out and then transfer. Or if you want to stay in this position and transfer a different color, like I taught you in the last tutorial, you can just cycle it. So, um, another concept I want to show you guys is the concept of surprising your viewer with an impact. So say you have a grid. You see this grid? And this? This is the center point where you want your viewer to look. The center point. So remember, you just have all this space to conjure wherever you may like. You know you're doing a move right here. They're not gonna know, ooh, it's right there. So it's just a matter of where you feel comfortable conjuring and where in the sequence you wanna conjure. And it's always a good, um, it's always a good method to like wait maybe like six or seven seconds when you conjure. So if like, oh, you were to conjure too early, it's gonna look sloppy. So just maybe wait one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, the light is always going to be in that center point. So as long as you guys can just keep them, keep the viewer within this center point, within the panda, you have all this space to just surprise the hell out of them. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for now, give you guys a little pointers and a little tips. I appreciate you guys for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.